U.S. postal workers caravan through downtown Detroit to save the post office. Chopper 7 over the scene as cars lined up in the street. The U.S. post office is expected to run out of money by September. And people want to save the Detroit post office on 4th Street. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live with their message. So, Kim, what are they saying? You know what? U.S. Postal Service supporters say that saving it isn't just about mail. It's about protecting democracy as our founding fathers called on us to do. This is a picture of the first postmaster general. You might recognize him. It's Benjamin Franklin. As one of our nation's founding fathers, he said it was vital that all be able to communicate for the sake of democracy. Protesters demonstrating today agree as we head into an election year and many plan to vote absentee. In many areas, people don't have cars. They don't have transportation. And now they're having fewer voting locations. Many people won't be able to get there. These protesters are fighting a conservative idea that times have changed. The U.S. Postal Service is no longer necessary and should be dismantled or privatized. Efforts have been underway for years. One policy critics say aimed to cause the post office artificial financial problems requires it prepay 75 years in advance retiree benefits. That's actually funding for people who are not even born yet. That went into effect in 2006. The post office, which is self-funded, <laughs> has operated at an annual deficit since 2007. The COVID-19 pandemic cost the post office billions as income decreased as people did less business. Workers say they paid a price as they took risks doing an essential job. And of course, um, we had many people that took ill. We had two deaths in this building. Um, so, yes, that has been a very difficult time. Now President Trump is calling on the post office to increase prices, threatening privatization if it doesn't. UPS, FedEx, and everybody else do not deliver in every area like we do. We deliver in the rural area. We go where no one else go. Protesters say that the president vetoed billions of dollars that was in the stimulus package earlier this year that would have helped it get through the COVID-19 pandemic. And they're calling on Congress and the president to make that right and give more funding to help them get through this. They say it's needed. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. So Kim, what could help an increase in rates? Well, the president is calling for an increase in rates, but workers here say they have watched this process before. They have watched how long it takes and that it's not quick, that if the U.S. Postal Service does want to increase rates, it has to go before the commission. It has to go to Congress. It's not something they can just do in an emergency such as this pandemic. Back to you. All right. Understandable. Thank you so much, Kim.